Hello, this is Mark Orbick and I'm here with another tip tutorial for Max Cookie. In this tutorial we're going to be covering how to create keyboard shortcuts and hotkeys. We're also going to go over how to create a custom button modifier set for your modifier list. Um, this will help greatly increase the speed of your modeling without having to come over here into the panels too much to use uh, some of the more popular tools. So the first thing we're going to do, let's just go ahead and go right into customize. We're going to go customize user interface. So this brings up our dialog box, and the first tab is keyboard, so we're right where we need to be. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reset everything, because I already have keyboard shortcuts on here, and um, I want to start from a blank slate on this. So I'm going to go ahead and delete everything on the reset, and I have a short list of keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time, so I'm just going to show you how to find them, and how to assign them, and then how to use them. So the first thing you have is group, and this tells you what group the keyboard shortcuts will be under so I'm gonna stick to main UI most of them are in main UI and category then down here we have a list of all the actions and the shortcuts so let's go ahead and start assigning some uh, the ones I use most are connect bridge collapse and edit poly I use those all the time and I keep them all on my left hand so the first one I wanna find is let's find connect and I know right away that connect is under editable poly so I'm going to go down to my editable poly in the in the drop down menu and I'm going to look for connect. And there it is right there. So there's already a shortcut for it but it's shift control E that's pretty complicated so I'm going to remove it. And I'm just going to add the shortcut C. It's not assigned. So I'll press assign and now C is for connect and then I'm going to go back into main UI I'm going to look for edge bridge um, so I use the second one just because I know it works I don't know why there's two of these but uh, there are so let's go ahead and press hot key and I'm going to select B for bridge and it's assigned to bottom view but I don't really use bottom view that much so I'm going to assign it anyways so that should override the old one then I'm going to look for collapse that one's also an editable poly so let's uh, scroll down find editable poly again and let's look for collapse and there it is I keep this one uh, on A not assigned so let's assign it and then the last one on main UI again is edit poly modifier so right here edit poly modifier I select Y because I know it doesn't have an assignment and I'm going to assign it uh, that should cover everything and uh, the next thing you can do is you can save this so I'll save this onto my desktop max shorts and I think I probably already have one, but it doesn't matter. So save that. And then what you can do is, if you're ever at someone else's computer, you can save this onto a flash drive and load up your sh keyboard shortcuts onto any other Mac system. That way, it's kind of a pain if you have to work on someone else's system and they have different keyboard shortcuts than you. So you could just load them up by pressing load, finding them on your drive, and then opening it onto theirs. Um, so that's how you can do that. And I think that's everything for this. So let's close this and let me show you how it works. So if I were to make a box let's convert this to editable poly then I can connect I can bridge collapse and I can throw an editable poly on top of the stack which is something I do a lot I like to work with uh, iteratively so that's how you can set up your keyboard shortcuts and now let me just show you really quickly what these modifier buttons are so over here I have a set of modifier buttons um, modifiers that um, I use a lot 
So I use Edit Poly, Symmetry, Turbo Smooth, Shell, Unwrap, and Projection a lot. So let's go ahead and right here on this button, we can configure modifier sets. And um, when it comes in, it'll be empty. So I set my total to six, that's how many I use. If you use more, you can add more. If you use less, you can make less. So let's just add, you know, two more so I can show you how this works. Um, and then over here, we have all of our modifiers, same as our drop down up here. So let's just say I want an FFD. Three by three by three. So I just come over here and just drag it onto the button. And that's all there is to it. So, you know, one more really quick one. Let's say I use... Hmm, what's another good one? Uh, Spherify. Or STL check, that's a good one. So I'll grab STL check, and I'll just drag that right over here, and I'll press OK. So when I press OK, then you'll see the new ones, and I can just click on them, and it adds it on top of the stack. <laughs> this is kind of pointless. It's the same as my uh, mesh. But, uh, so then I can drop another edit poly on top, modify some more, and you know, turbo smooth, whatever I want to do. Uh, so this will make your life a lot easier and it will make your modeling much faster. So thank you for stopping by. This has been another tip tutorial for Max Cookie. Thank you.